Hello everybody, Galarian Sangvi here. Welcome to the next episode. In the last episode, we've just killed a bunch of experiments and experiments that was in a secret lab underneath Eve Sector 7. Now we gotta get Wedge home. Or at least somewhere to safety. Once the game's done loading. Yeah, Sinra or there we go. Oh, I'm Barrett now? I thought I was Cloud. Wasn't I Cloud in the previous episode? I want you to take Wedge back for me. I'm gonna look around for the others. He made it, didn't he? They can still be alive. I saw them both at the pillar. Jesse and Biggs saw how bad they were hurt. I'm sorry, but... Don't. They've returned to the planet. Telling the news to Barrett. It's gonna be really hard on him. They they were supposed to return to us. <sighs> but if we stop now. They'll never let us live it down. <sighs> so, we carry that weight. And off they go. Bear took it better than I expected. And of course, more loading. Use SP to unlock weapon skills, materia, Shinra Electric Power Company. You can read that if you want to. Probably gonna have to pause the video if you want to fully read that. Restoring HP, attack the Turks. That's something else you can also read. Scarlet, who we've only seen, I think, once in the game. Don't know why she has a section here. I'm sorry. I truly am. We had no other place to go, and... I would never leave a wounded man out on the street. <sighs> Elmira, I know what you said, but you have to let us go after Aerith. Not this again. We found an underground Shinra lab, where they've done human testing. This wasn't the first time, and it won't be the last. I know these people, and I know they're never going to let Aerith go. She's the last living ancient on the planet. Think about what that means to Shinra scientists. Especially to that son of a bitch, Hojo. We're all just numbers and meat Enough! to him. But... <sighs> Please. I need some time to think. You've all had a long day. Why don't you go upstairs and get some rest? Aerith? I'm pretty sure that was this Aerith we saw. Let's go find out. Is she out here? I think I can see her. So 
So did she escape on her own? We're just gonna have to ask her ourselves. How is this? Is this a dream? Maybe. You tell me. You okay? Don't I look it? I used to live in the Shinra building, back when I was really little. Hmm. Your mom told us. Right. So it kind of feels like I've gone back to my childhood home, you know? Honestly, it's not that bad. So what? You want to stay? Come on, Cloud. Don't be silly. Your mom's really worried, too. Hmm? Too? So you're worried about me? Uh, of course I am. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Really. Is that... Everyone dies eventually. I suppose. So we need to make the most of the time we have. To live our lives the way we want to live. Every minute, every moment matters. I'll remember that. Good. So... You need to embrace this moment. Right? I'm glad I met you, Cloud. I really am. I'm grateful for all the words we've shared. For all the moments and the memories. You've made me more happy than you know. And I'll always cherish what you've given me. But... But whatever happens, you can't fall in love with me. Even if you think you have, it's not real. Do I get a say in all this? It's almost morning. Time to go. I'm coming for you. If that's what you want, thank you. You've done more for us than we deserve. I won't forget this. If you ever need anything, all you gotta do is holler. Happy to help out, however I can. Elmira. I've been thinking about what you said. She's calling out to me. I can feel it. We all can. So please. She's our friend. We have to help her. Mm -hmm. I always knew it was coming. Knew that one day, I'd have to say goodbye to my baby girl. But not yet. <clears throat> Please, bring her back to me. Hmm. Are you going? Um, I'm 
sorry, honey. I wish I didn't have to. I wish I could be with you all the time. I really do. But if I stay here, I can't fight out there. Some bad people are trying to hurt the planet. And Daddy, Daddy and his friends are trying to stop those bad people. The slums, your friends, the whole planet. It's Daddy's job to protect it. Hmm? And that's why I've got to go. You remember that nice girl who came to find you? Well, now we have to go find her. And when we bring her home, you need to say thank you, okay? Okay. That girl, she was kind of... <sighs> what? Nothing. You should help her. We will. Right? Of course, I promise. <sighs> okay. You can go. She's tougher than me. Alright, time to get some payback. Don't forget why we're doing this. I know, I know. To rescue Aerith. So, how are we supposed to get topside? With everything that's happened, the trains still aren't running. Well, we could walk along the tracks. The city's on high alert. All the roads and public transit have probably been locked down by now. So what's the plan, then? You know another way up? No, but I think I know someone who might. You mean Corneo. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to uh, check with Corneo. Now, first off, there's a materia here that only spawns after that scene. The Performa meter materia. What does that materia do? Set. What do you do? Da, da, da. Oh, this materia. Okay, this materia is weird. You need to equip this to a character. And you'll notice current steps. You need to walk that many steps for this materia to become something else. Um, Who can I give it to? Barrett, what do you have equipped? I don't want you to get rid of revival. The MP I might temporarily get rid of. Uh, Aerith, what do you have on you? Auto Cure? That's not too bad. HP up. Item Master. Uh, let's get rid of Sleep. Because you want to equip this uh, material ASAP. Because it actually does reward you if you do that many steps. So before I end things off, I know this is a really uh, cutscene heavy video. But in the next episodes, we're going to be doing side quests and whatnot. The scene that happened here with Aerith, there's three possible scenes that can happen. The scene of Aerith, which we just saw. To get Aerith, you need to do a lot of friendly responses, uh, friendly responses towards Aerith um, throughout the entirety of the game. Uh, this includes uh, picking her up first when you're in the sewers. Um, another cutscene that can happen is with Tifa. Tifa is basically the same requirement. You need to um, be nice to her throughout the entire game and then pick her up in the sewer. And then there's a third scene, which is actually harder to get, which is uh, with Barrett. Basically, uh, if you are not as nice towards both girls, and I believe it doesn't matter who you pick up in the sewer, uh, if, you're not, if you're not too nice to them throughout the entirety of the game, you will get a scene with Barrett. Uh, Barrett is the hardest to get, and you need to see all three of these scenes if you want to get a, um, 
a uh, a trophy in the p uh, a trophy. So you actually do need to play this game a fair bit if you want that trophy. Anyway, we'll end things off here in the next episode. We'll go out out see if there's any side quests to do as we tr as we go for Kaneo. See you.